So this video here is about some very basics of Ubuntu Linux. So if you already used uh, Linux in the past, then uh, you probably don't need to watch this video. You can directly skip to the next one in which I will explain you how to install Code Aster. Um, so now let's, if you don't know about Linux, let's, uh, I would like to explain you a few things to improve uh, your workflow inside the, the software. So. Um, the first thing we need to know is about the terminal. So the terminal is where we will be uh, we will be spending a lot of our time inside Linux because this is uh, basically what is used to install a lot of things. Um, so one way you could uh, you could open it is to open this window and just search for terminal and you will have it here. And then you could drag and drop it into your icons here. So uh, next time you can directly click here to open it. If I click, I can open it like that. So it's easier. You can also do a simple right click, click an open terminal. Or another way is that if you want to use the keyboard shortcut Control Alt plus T, it opens directly the terminal. So that's the fastest way to, to do that actually. Now let's review a few things that you can do in the terminal. Uh, in order to uh, open files, watch what is uh, inside your computer. So uh, the terminal is basically some kind of way to browse and make actions as if uh, the graph as if you were inside a graphical interface. But the only exception is that it's by typing lines of commands. So it looks complex because it's all based on text actually it's not so difficult. If you know a few basic uh, comments you can do exactly the same thing and even much more than in the graphical interface. So some of the comments you need to know for example are um, how do you list the folders that are inside uh, the files and folders that are inside the folder you are in right now. So now I start when you open the terminal the first time you start automatically in your home folder so now, how do I know what are the other files inside this? Well, you tap PWD uh, to display first where you are. So PWD will show you the exact folder where you are located right now. So I'm in Home and Cyprin. Um, and if I want to list what the, are the files and folder, I tap LS. And now I have a view of the different types of uh, folder and files inside. So it's uh, I would get exactly the same thing if I went into uh, my uh, my files here using the graphical interface and go into the home uh, tab. And here you see that I have exactly the same thing: desktop, document. Except that here I have it in under text format. So how do I enter into one of those folder? Well you use uh, command cd and the name. So if I want to enter on the desktop, I use cd desktop. And you see that the small um, the small pointer here uh, changes. So there is a path that brings me to uh, the desktop. Um, now if I list up what is inside, I see that there is nothing because I have nothing right now on my desktop. If you want to go back, you can do uh, CD and two points and then you go back in the previous folder. So if you were two folders uh, inside a folder of a folder, the, to come back in the previous folder you type CD and two dot. Uh, if you want to come back to your home, you just type CD and then you will come back directly to your home. So let me give you an example. Uh, CD public. Let's see what I have. LS. Okay, I have nothing inside either. CD. Um, let's let's take a look because I think I have nothing. I just install it, right? So there is absolutely nothing on this uh, computer. Picture. Okay, there is uh, absolutely nothing. Okay, so um, Okay, you, I think you understood how it works anyway. So let's uh, view another comment. If you want to make a folder, uh, you can use 
you can use um, the command mkdir, mkdir uh, and then the name so let's say I want to make a folder called uh, Cyprin uh, and then ls you see that I have a new folder that appeared here which is called Cyprin so I can enter inside this folder uh, and create another folder called fea ls and then I will have my folder called fea inside that um, now um, let's let's say I want to come back uh, so cd enter I'm back and I want to delete this folder so in this case I have to use the option rm rm cyprin okay so this is a directory so you cannot uh, do like that uh, you have to use another command called rm air cyprin and now you see it works so you have to be careful what kind of command you use because uh, rmr can actually delete the folder plus everything which is inside so <laughs> that's very powerful command you see uh, in if you were in the graphical interface uh, you, you will have probably three messages asking you are you sure you want to delete that are you sure that and that uh, but if you're in the command line it's very straightforward just three characters r m r and the name of folder and you have nothing left inside so that's very fast but it can be also dangerous if uh, you do it the wrong way okay that's uh, you know very basic about the terminal uh, because we we'll, we we'll need to to know that in order to install uh, code aster afterwards let's close that and there's another thing i wanted to show you uh, if you want to work efficiently into um, into the this uh, system i like to have several workspaces so i'll show you how it works uh, very quickly. So first of all, uh, before in Linux you had these workspaces uh, as soon as you installed it, but now they are hidden, so you have to activate uh, them actually. Um, so you have to go into the settings, I think, settings, appearance, behavior, um, and then you have a button called enable workspaces. So you click on that, and yeah and now you have a small grid that appears here uh, that display the workspaces so you can also display those by uh, clicking on the keyboard on the windows key plus s and you will see those so basically what is that let me give you an example which uh, of things you can do with that uh, let's say you have a browser so the basic way we do is that you know we open a browser and then we, we get very busy on the screen with all those uh, windows open. So if you are working with workspaces, you can open like that and then you drag your window like that in another workspace. Okay. And let's, uh, now I'm in the second workspace. Let's come back in the first one and you see that I have nothing. So I can an open another. Uh, software in this one and then I can switch in between so how do you switch uh, quickly you use control alt control alt plus an arrow key like that and very quickly you can go from one workspace to another so that very you, you know you have to get used to it but once you get used to it it's very fast so you can have a uh, spreadsheet open in one then you switch to another like that and you can you can do a lot of things uh, at the same time very quickly and very efficiently okay uh, i this is really really the basics so i didn't want to you know reteach really you a lot um, so that's it for for this video uh, and i hope it was useful in the next video, I'll finally show you how to install Salome Mecha 2017 on your Linux Ubuntu inside your virtual box. So, if you're on YouTube, you'll probably find the link to the article and the next videos inside the description. Otherwise, you can go on my blog, fea4all.com, uh, and click in the category Open Source FEA, and you'll find all the articles I wrote about uh, open source FEA and the previous videos inside this category. So thank you for watching. 
I hope that you learned a lot and that you will learn a lot using all the videos that I am sharing on my blog. So if you like those videos, please help me to share them with your friends and other engineers. And also, please let me know what you think in the comments. It's always great to have some kind of feedback. And if you have some ideas of things you would like to learn or do with FEA, please also let me know. Thank you for watching again.